Hi, y'all. Right, uh, welcome everybody. back to the show. We got another special guest right here. Someone that I used to slap before I made North Carolina next step right here. You want to introduce yourself to the people? I go by money and phone, man. What's going on? Take it, drop it, make it, clap. I'm going to be the one that put the bay up on the map. Like smoking, bitch, she going crazy with the cap. She asked me where to come. I'm putting babies on her back. If I tell you I fuck with you, would you believe me? I'm trying to grant all your wishes like a genie. Take you to mice. Have your diamonds look like Fiji. You know what I like. That's why I feel you trying to be. So just a little backstory. Before I'm in my page, I discovered Money Four off. I forget what it was. It might have been Daily Slaps or Pro Exclusive, but it was a song called Can't Relate. I got untouchables. Put your face on the news, nigga. No D low, but we rude, niggas. Hey, you niggas cuffing thighs. What the fuck is you doing, nigga? We hit these hoes, chopping screw them, nigga. These bitches fucking niggas off their name. And you think you the nigga? You check your phone, you like who the nigga? Who the fuck is Money Four that's in this Gucci sweater? And I, I just I found that on YouTube and shit. I started slapping it. It was one of my top slap songs back in like 2017, 2018. So what led to that Can't Relate song? You were rapping seriously or like what happened? Um, it was more so just being different. Just, you know what I mean? Just not having nobody that, that can, can fuck with you. You know what I mean? So can't nobody relate to the shit that I had going on type shit. That's all it was. So how did you get started into rapping in the first place? What led to you becoming a rapper? Mm, having a movement, having a movement and then, you know, creating music and putting my, 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 my story behind my music, you know what I'm saying? So I just made it authentic. Yeah, okay. So then nowadays, now you're actually taking it seriously and trying to become a serious artist. What do you do to take it more seriously? Like, what's your steps to like, okay, now I'm a serious artist? It ain't, I, I'm gonna keep it real. It ain't, I guess I'm serious now, but I just go with the flow. I, I, I go with the flow still the same way, you know what I mean? Like I said, because when I make my best music, it's coming from the heart. So it's when I'm in my feelings, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that's really what that is, when I'm in my feelings. Okay, yeah. All right, so out of all the years you've been in this industry, who's the most solid industry person that you've met in the industry? Uh, I'd probably say Nef, Nef the Pharaoh. Shout out Nev. Why Nev? Um, like I said, because he when I when I go on tours and when I go on tour him, he actually teach me things. I can call him and you know what I mean? Like shit like that. Like I I, I ain't really locked in with a lot of people, but like that's one person that I can call and you feel me that will pick up type shit, you know? Alright, so what's the biggest mistake that you see other artists make trying to make it? Um, trying to be like somebody else. Not having their own lane, trying to uh, mimic another rapper. People who actually like, like I said, who tell their own story. Don't tell the next person's story. You know what I mean? Like I said, stay on your own path. When you stay on your own path, can't nobody knock you off. Can't nobody come and tell you about your story. You know what I mean? If a mother could tell you about your story, they'd be, you know, they'd be hating on you. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But all right, so let the people know what, what's next your money for, what you got coming, where can we find your music, etc. Uh, you can find my music on all platforms, all platforms. Um, what's next? Just a whole lot of singles, a whole lot of new shit, a whole lot of new shit, though. A whole lot of it.